It's 6 15 in the morning, June 22nd, which is a Monday morning, and we're about to take an interesting cruise across the Georgia Strait. We're leaving our anchorage at Falls Creek, where we've been for probably about four or five days, and now it's time to pick up fuel and especially water and make a voyage across the Georgia Strait. We have two early bird risers, Michael and Zachary who are actually putting the fenders down on the left or the port side as we'll be coming into the fuel dock. So stay tuned for an incredible adventure on the motor yacht Pacific Odyssey. We just pulled into the False Creek fuel dock. We filled our diesel tanks, but most importantly, we have wide awake, well, almost, Zachary filling the water tanks. So what do you think about the cruise so far? Good, it's a good time. What's the best part of it? Um, Don't say food. eating. Uh, yeah, the food, okay. <laughs> That's fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> We've uh, cleared the fuel dock, and Zach is uh, replacing the fenders to the starboard side. Heading the horizon, our destination is directly ahead, Vancouver Island in the Georgia Strait. Vancouver is, is probably one of the busiest ports in Canada. This nautical chart will give you a little bit better idea of our departure point, which was right here in False Creek. We headed out English Bay to where the large boats are moored in Vancouver Harbor, then we're making the passage across the Straits of Georgia. Now we have a wind from the south, so it's been a rock and roll trip. So our destination is this Gabriola Pass in here, and then we'll come down and explore these islands, and then anchoring right in this area. So you can get an idea how many of these islands, these are referred to as the Gulf Islands, opposed to the San Juan Islands owned by the United States. So we have a lot of Anchorage is in here, very few homes, a lot of remote coves, and most importantly, hopefully a lot of crab. Well, we've just set our anchor in an area called Clam Bay. Davit to hoist the boat in the engine. You can see it's just about off the deck. So Mike will move the crab traps out of the way, a little bit tangled, and then we'll set it down in the water. What are you thinking? Pretty cool out here. Here we are at Clam Beach. First mate, second mate, and we're off for exploration.
you're gonna be alive, folks. I mean, I don't think it's, it's not that bad. It's not as bad as you made it out to be. You know, I think it's better than eating just a plain piece of lettuce. It has built-in flavor. With the sun setting in the Pacific Odyssey, it's time for some educational values. And for that, we're involved with the second annual poker tournament. Actually, this is a blackjack tournament to which Michael is winning. Zach won the penny tournament, a record 37 cents. Michael has a chance to win over $2 in this absolutely death-defying battle of I 21. Took, I took blackjack, so... It is Tuesday, June 23rd, 2015. I rose at 6 a.m. A beautiful zero wind day, as opposed to the 25 knot southeasters we had. And at, early in the morning, I did some voyage planning, so I figured out the next three or four days. Of course, where we go is highly dependent of tidal conditions. And although I was up at six in the morning, here it is, 8.30 in the morning, and guess what? Even though I rent this boat out for $1,000 a day, what do you think these guys would prefer doing in the morning? There he is, bright and early, smiley. Yeah. And Michael, still behind closed doors in the front. So let me wake him up, and we'll head off for another adventure. And it's beautiful sunrise at Clam Beach. Perfect. It's now 10.15. We have departed our anchorage at Clam Bay and we're making our way down Houston Passage into the Tricamel Panel all the way down into an area called Ganges Harbor on Salt Spring Island. We're on autopilot here. And to switch back to the steering wheel, you press standby. Right here's the shifts, and here's the throttle. And that's about it. After a two hour run with some excellent piloting by Zach, we've launched the dory and we are heading into Ganges Harbor. Okay, so we just landed here and uh, we're setting up the crab traps to get some crabs. So this is the line that, uh, with the buoy on it that holds. It up so you know where it is and you put the bait in this and in this bag and then what the, what happens is the crabs come in through here and they get trapped in there and the smaller ones come out here so just the big ones are in there so. you're going to get a lot i hope so good I'm stuffing the bait into a bait holder i guess <laughs> hey what kind of bait uh salmon is it salmon it's yeah, salmon, it's salmon. Yeah. Right. Favorite food of the crabs. Am I good? Alright. So this is how big a Dungeness crab has to be. 165 millimeters. Which is about how many inches is that? About six and a six quarter and inches. Quarter. So yeah. yeah. And and how much is that crab worth? Probably about like twenty five dollars. We have one crab in here. It's a rock crab, but we'll, we'll still take it. All right, so tonight we're making burgers and onions and sweet potatoes. So we're gonna put all these on the grill and just kind of put them together at the end. So your your position is sous chef, and you're under the direction of Master Chef, who uh, learned his technique uh, is. Uh, Rolly in uh, the state prison, didn't he? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> well, good dinner. And the chef.